10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! <laughs> and welcome to Be Inspired with D. Amber. How are you? How are you this evening? And I do apologize. I did uh, upload the three signs last week. It was sometime. And for some reason, it did not upload. So I am going to start with Libra. All in all, how was your New Year's celebration? Hope you had fun. If it was chilled, if it was fun, if it was exciting, if it was with your first love, celebrating it in the end of the year, that's fun, right? For those of you who have a new honey. Okay, and I am going to do Libra. Okay, I did haven't um, done Libra again, Libra, and I'm also going to do Scorpio, and I'm going to do Sagittarius. All right, so let's shuffle the cards. And um, if this does not resonate with you, if this does not resonate with you, okay, uh, with your sun sign, look at your rising and your moon sign. Okay, all right, I'm going to do Libra. I'm going to do Libra. And this is going to be basically, this was for December through January 15th. So let's see what's going on with Libra. Okay. All right, let's put this right side up. Let's do another shuffle, okay? All right, let's do another shuffle for Libra. I generally don't like doing my cards upside down, but sometimes I do. This card came out for some reason. I'm going to leave it out. Okay, and at the same time, I'm going to shuffle. Okay, but that card for some reason came out. Queen of Cups. Oh my God. Okay. Queen of Cups. You got Queen of Wands, which is a fire sign and a water sign. And then you have the Five of Wands. Libra, what's going on? Is there competition going on here? Hold on one second. Let's see what's going on. Mm-hmm. The world. Mm, this is like an argument for a man, about a man. If you're a female, there's been a uh, push and pull over a man. The man can be the sign of Libra, Gemini, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And there's, um, this is for Libra. This competition. Okay, and it's... I believe that's what I had for the other one that I uploaded. Okay. Okay. Whatever concerns you have had, whatever that's been on your mind, Libra, I get a yes. Whatever that may have been, whatever that is, currently I get a yes. Whatever that is, whatever you've been wanting to do, if you're concerned about... Either a good or a bad question, I pick up Ace of Wands. I mean, Ace of Swords, a big, thick yes. Okay, so now, okay, and you did, the first card you got was the Queen of Cups. So let's elaborate. Queen of Cups, if you're the sign of Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, this could be your rising or your moon sign. Okay, however, there's, an in, there's a competition with possibly someone else. Okay, could be a fire sign, and with the five of wands, there's competition, and de definitely it's um, it's going to come up again. And you got the world card, whatever that is. Finish what you start. I don't know what that may be. It could be a project. However, there's somebody here, like I said, a young man, sign of um, uh, son of Gemini. Libra or Aquarius and whatever questions you've been having on your mind rather is starting a business or doing whatever you got to do I see a yes okay so now let's talk about what I see 
for the love thing. It's a love thing. Love thing. It's a love thing. All right, shuffle the card. Let's see what kind of love you got on your mind. Or better yet, we're going to look at the truth oracle. Let's see what's underneath that. Let's see what the hidden truth oracle says. You speak to me through music. So you're pretty happy with this guy. However, you find him or her competition. If it's a man or, or female, vice versa, for either male or females, okay? So you're pretty in tune with this person. You speak to me through music, okay? So you're pretty happy with that individual. Now let's see what I get for love for Libra. Okay, on the other hand, with Libra, I see more or less, um, hold on one second, hold on, what am I seeing here, I'm trying to fix this up here, oh, I hope this is not, okay, what is this, hold on guys, let me fix this up here, okay, there I go. Sorry about that. Whatever that was in the back. I have no idea. Okay. All right. Uh, Libra, you've been sleeping a lot, Libra. You've been sleeping and you've been thinking. There's a page of wands. This person can be a son or a daughter. Okay. And you feel almost trapped. You got the devil. Oh, Lord. You got the devil card. What's going on here? You've got the devil card, Libra. And you got the wand. The wands here. So this is a young child that's been demanding of you. It could be also a child that has uh, challenges. That's uh, mentally challenged as well. And there's a older man. There's an older man. Could be an, a man that's older than you. With the sign of Le, uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius as well. And he is not in good standing with you. I believe that is why you are uh, competing with someone else. However, you already have somebody. This is what I'm seeing. But with your current partner right now, Libra, for the married ones, it's all going to work out. Okay, it's going to work out. Let's see for the single ones, okay? So I believe that was for the one who were married. However, there's been some problems at the job. If either was at the job or, you know, grapevine gossip, how they used to call it. Let's do something for the singles, okay? I should have done it for the other signs, but I'll do it next time for the singles in love because I believe that one was for the Librans dealing with someone else. I mean, with someone in their life. Okay, with the singles, you have it a little, a little easier. Okay, you have it a little easier. You, uh, you're going to meet a man who's basically, okay, there's, sorry about that. I don't know what's happening, but everything seems to be dropping today. Don't know why, but don't know why. Hold on one second. 
don't know what everything seems to be dropping um okay so libra you have the knight of cups that's the main one if you're a man and you're the rising sign of scorpio pisces or either cancer that is you and i see that you are also um taking care of a son or daughter or this could also mean a big yes on a relationship that you've met a person that you've met it could be a union and if you're um a female this could be an older man an older man okay the emperor more of a secure man masculine uh, divine masculine and there is some monies as well coming in but probably investments that you've been investing in and there will there will be a celebration this could also be that the man that you are dating currently you could possibly have some connection with him in the future so this could be somebody that you may share your life with libra now quickly with your finances and see what's going on this is going to be for the remaining middle mid january okay all right let's see what's going on Okay, uh, Libra, you're basically standing still right now, and it seems like you're stuck. You're stuck, and you feel a lot of deception around you when it comes to finances, although you seem to be juggling two jobs. Okay, the first card is Nine of Wands. Okay, that's how you feel. You're basically waiting. Uh, could be waiting for the RV or waiting for, you know, everything to manifest, itself so silver could go up or gold can go up even higher right and you feel deception on that end so you are juggling basically two jobs you are the queen of coins okay you will be however it will the system will fall so that we can go into the quantum financial currently it's not happening currently but behind the scenes there's something else going on okay libra what do I get with that? Be patient. That's what I feel. That's what I hear. What is the card, the best card for Libra when it comes to finances? Here it goes. Bring in your divine feminine, Libra, and be patient, okay? Bring in divine patient, your divine feminine, be patient. All will work out. All in all, thank you very much for watching, Libra. Have a beautiful year. Have a beautiful January. I will be back. And um, be good, Libra. Love you. Bye-bye.